All right, today I'm going to introduce you to the uh, voice amplifier in a mince tin. <laughs> this is actually fairly simple to build. Uh, it's really small, fits right in the palm of your hand. It's really flat and it's not even an inch thick. It's about three quarters of an inch thick, about uh, maybe four inches tall by two and a half, three inches wide. And it contains everything that you need for your uh, for your voice amp other than the microphone itself. The, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And this is just a mint tin. Uh, uh, tin. You can use, you know, whatever your favorite brand of mints are. This is one I just had hanging around that I got in a gift bag one time. But um, anyway, here is the inside. And what we've got in here is... Uh, this is a, the Adafruit 20 uh, watt uh, audio amplifier. It's a Class D amplifier, which means it runs a very long time on just a simple 9 volt battery. Um, it can uh, use as low as, I believe, 5 volts and all the way up to 12 volts. So um, there's a wide voltage. Uh, uh, you know scale that this thing can use but the better you know the more voltage you put into it the louder that the voice amp will be so let's just uh, let me take this thing apart real quick and show you exactly how I did this it's very very simple all right so the most difficult part of this, of course, is, you know, wiring up or soldering together the voice amp. You do get it. It does come with, um, you know, the little audio uh, out and input jacks as well as a power room, two different types of power input jacks. These are screw down terminals. Let me hold this up so you can see it a little bit better. These are all screw down terminals. This is audio in. So you've got uh, left, right, and then ground in the center. This is the uh, screw down terminal for the uh, power, of course. I've got this running to a little switch here in the front and then running to the 9 volt. And then these are the audio screw down terminals. You've got right and left. I'm only using one channel right now though, but you can make this a stereo unit if you wanted to put um, a second speaker somewhere else on your kit. Maybe you wanted a speaker in the front and a speaker in the back so people can hear you um, in both directions you can do that. So uh, now here at the bottom, these are the uh, these are just the pins that come with it that uh, I had already put in. I was using this for a different application. Um, I'm just using a piece of electrical tape to cover those, but you don't need to even put these in if you're using this amplifier specifically for this uh, this design or this, uh, this voice amp. Now what you are gonna wanna do is I have a little piece of plastic that this amplifier sits on that I 3D printed, but you'll want to line the inside of this with something. You can line it with some um, uh, tape, you know, like electrical tape, just something to keep the circuits off of the metal, okay, because that will short the whole thing out. Um, this unit, this amplifier unit, also comes with a 10K ohm potentiometer. Uh, that's what you use for your, um, uh, uh, for your volume, and I believe I actually have the one that goes with this specific board yes right here so you could put that on the board as it's supposed to be and actually control this just dial the sound into what you want um, and then once you close the board up it's all set or once you close the the tin up everything's already set up all you have to do is flip the button on but I actually opted to put a potentiometer on the outside so I could control the sound level of this board so that's what this is, just a 10K ohm potentiometer. And I've just got it wired in to the to where the potentiometer would be wired on the board right here. And it's pretty easy. There's just three leads, and then you put, you just solder three wires onto the three leads of the potentiometer, and then you put those on the board, and you're, you're good to go. Um, I keep, middle lead goes to the middle, um, the little middle hole here and then you've got left and right which you can actually you know flip it either way as long as the middle lead goes to the middle 
uh, is what soldered to the middle of these three holes here on the board, then you're good to go. So what I, what I also did was I wired up a small switch, which you can see right here in the front. That turns the unit on and off so that, uh, you know, once I plug the battery in, I still have the option of cutting it on and off whenever I want. So let me put the board back in here. And then, of course, here's the battery. Now, the leads on this switch, this is a, just a tiny micro um, toggle switch. So what I did was I, f I took some pliers and I bent the leads down so that they were nice and uh, parallel to this, to the, uh, to the actual uh, top of the tin here. And then I just use a piece of electrical tape. You can use hot glue, whatever. Um, I'm just using a piece of electrical tape just to ensure that they don't, you know, that those contacts don't come in contact with the board. And then I've got my battery seated in there. And then all I have to do at this point is close it up. Now, I do want to show you what I did with the speakers, with the output here. Um, I just took a, a computer fan cable and I snipped it and I just used two of the lines from it, a positive and a negative line, the black and the red line, and then just screwed that into the screw down output terminal there. That is the uh, right channel that, that we're using on that. So let's go ahead and close this up, and I will get a couple more devices here we'll plug it into so you can see exactly how well this works. All right, so this is the the homemade uh, boom mic from uh, from the recent PDF instructional that I released earlier on, and this is just something that I built in the past. This is a just a, a homemade leather pouch that I did, and I uh, cut out a circle in it, put some metal mesh in here, and then I've got a uh, I believe that's a f uh, eight ohm speaker in there. You want to try to stick with using. 8 or 4 ohm impedance speakers. Um, that will keep your amplifier from getting too hot and potentially blowing out. And we need our battery for our mic. Alright, so so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and plug everything up into this first. So now here's our audio in jack. You just want to make sure that you get this in there real well, fully. It'll kind of snap in there. And then this is for our speaker. All right, so let's go ahead and this pouch is just big enough to hold all this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the voice amp on first. And we're just going to place it inside the pouch. Now you can always put that power button elsewhere on the voice amp. And then we're going to plug in the battery for our voice amp. Oop, and you can already hear it. So let's dial it back a bit here. And then we're going to tuck our battery in right there. We'll tuck those cables in just like that. We'll fold this over. We'll give it a couple of snaps. Now we can put the boom mic on and now we've got our voice amp. Let me turn it down just a little bit more. We're getting a little bit of feedback. Test, test, test. There we go. So we're going to snap this together just like that. And now we have a working voice amp. I'm going to put my, my boom mic that I'm wearing down there so you can hear it a little bit better. Now this isn't super loud, but it's, it's pretty loud. Um, if it was in a uh, a plastic enclosure, it would be louder because the plastic actually um, it it uh, 
reflects the sound waves a lot better and it creates a better uh, airspace. This is a leather pouch, so you're not going to get a whole lot of airspace in there for the air to move. That's where, where it's a rigid airspace. The leather actually ends up um, absorbing more of the sound uh, waves than it does reflecting them. So this is just an option because that's what I had on hand. But you can build a little Sintra or plastic box to put this stuff in. Or you can put it anywhere you want. I mean, you can drop these speakers in your pockets. You can use a more professional speaker with, uh, with the voice amp if you, if you want. Um, anything of that nature. I'll have the parts list for this device um, in the descriptions and links that will take you directly to uh, where you can get most of these items at. So uh, if you want to build this, feel free to look down there. You can also you know, experiment with some of your own parts. Uh, but that is it for the 20-watt voice amp in a mince tin.